welcome to our channel in the last session we discussed what is html why we need to learn html the structure of html and also discussed writing and executing one sample html program by using the text editor notepad now in this session we are moving into some html tags headings and paragraphs at the same time, from now onwards, we are writing and executing our programs by using VS Studio Code. Okay. First of all, move to headings. What is a heading? Heading in the sense, suppose you are preparing one document. Okay. In the document, different titles are available with different sizes. Are you observed? For example, the entire heading is a very large size. Subheading is one size. Inside subheading is another size. Simply that headings are the titles are the titles or subtitles that you want to display on the web page. In HTML, we have total six types of headings. The largest heading is represented with the tag H1 and the smallest heading is represented with the tag H6. That means if any content is written in H1 tag, it becomes very, very highlighted. That is the size is very large. If you place the information in H6 tag, the information is very low priority. And the most important thing is, these are pair tags. What is mean by pair tag? Each and every opening must and should you need to close. Between the opening and closing, you are writing some information. Okay. This is heading tag. I will explain with one example. Then you will get the clear idea. Not a problem. Now, what I said, we are moving into VS Studio Code. The procedure is very simple. Create one folder at any location. Create one folder. Suppose my folder name is HTML practice. Okay. A folder is created. What is the reason for creating the folder? Every HTML file that I created, all the images required, or whatever it is required, everything I placed in the folder. Okay. Now, open the folder. Within that one, create or open one notepad create one notepad now i am not writing anything just to save as just to save the notepad as in the same location sample one dot html save now this is not at all required close now what happened just to one folder is created within the folder one empty html file is created okay now the step is simply i think everyone installed vs studio code in your system directly go to video visual studio under downloads it will be downloaded fine so once downloaded this is the screen visible to you file how to execute file open folder click on open folder what are the folders you required right now i required only this one html practice Select the folder. See, HTML practice is selected along with the HTML file is also selected. Simply 
click on this one. Now, actually in your HTML, no data is available. What you should do? Here you need to write the data. So what is the reason for writing the data one more time? If the notepad we are writing HTML, head to body, etc. Again, simply no need to write everything. Everyone remember, give this exclamatory mark and press enter. Observe the entire skeleton is created. Doc type HTML head body head is open and closing inside the head meta title so it the title you are writing your title uh, for example my title is headings okay body within the body you are writing your original content see this one if you open the tag automatically it will be closed okay uh, welcome to our channel. Like this, I created H1 tag in the similar fashion. H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Same message I written to understand the differences. Okay, save. Okay, after saving, simply select this one, right click, copy path, right click, copy path. Okay, then go to any web browser, go to any web browser, path, paste the path. See this one? Welcome to our channel. Welcome to our channel. Observe the sizes. The first one is H1. Next to H2. Next to H3. Next to H4. H5. H6. That is headaches. Depending on your requirement. Depending upon the size. Whatever the heading you want. You can take that heading size. Clear? Headings. Now, the headings has one attribute. What is an attribute? The properties, attribute means the properties. Each and every property have some values also. Now, align is the attribute. What are the properties? Left to right to center. What is the meaning of this one? Suppose H1, A-L-I-G-N, align. Within the tag only, you are returning the property and values. After that, you need to close. H1, align is equal to, suppose I return center. Now, what is the meaning? This H1 tag information is aligned at the center position. Suppose H1, align is equal to right. I think you understand this H2 information aligned in the right position. And for example, H5 align is equal to center. This is available in the center position. By default, if you are not specifying anything, left justification. Control S, yes, save, go to the location, simply refresh. Observe. H1 is at center position, H2 is at the right position, H3, H4 left justification, H5 is the center position. Now I think everyone clear with heading tag. Next we are moving into second tag that is paragraph. Paragraph. I think you understand paragraph. You, so you are writing some stories. It consists of multiple paragraphs. A paragraph always starts on a new line. On a new line. For example, if you want to write some information inside the paragraph. So, it displays in multiple lines. It automatically adds some space before and after the paragraph. I will show you with one example. The tag name is P. Again, align. 
the attributes are left to right to center along with justify along with justify suppose go to visual studio code i will remove this entire thing everything is written inside the body tag only everything written inside the body paragraph okay here welcome to html first paragraph welcome to java second paragraph welcome to python okay save already the path is copied i open the same web browser just to refresh see welcome to html here i am not given any spaces here i am not given any spaces automatically if a paragraph is completed automatically next to paragraph begins on a new line see welcome to html one space is given welcome to java one space is given welcome to python one space is given immediately you have one question sir what is the need of paragraph even though i written like this suppose i written the information in multiple lines that is displayed in the multiple lines no observe even though you written welcome to html welcome to java welcome to python in multiple lines it will taken as a single line now execute see welcome to html welcome to java welcome to python now you understand the concept of paragraph if you want to display some information in the new line with one space before and after then we are moving into paragraph now p tag p tag now align is equal to center peak tag align is equal to center now see it is stored in the center position similarly if you want left to if you want right to whatever it is it will be stored justify justify now execute you are not getting any idea now i will show you for example i am copying some information so this is written in the paragraph now go to web browser observe the justification whatever the page visible to you at that page that is justified clear so this is the paragraph tag paragraph tag